In this video, we are going to be walking through an unbalanced three-wire circuit. Just as a quick recap, a three-wire circuit gives us two voltages at the same time, much like your house. So you'll have 120 volts available to you, which will, you know, things that you plug in, your TVs, your electronics, your lights. And then you have your 240 volt loads, which will be typically your heating loads. And in your house, that would be like your oven, your dryer, or your baseboard heat. Now we have the way we get these voltages is we have this neutral and this neutral is connected to ground, which is why we call it the grounded conductor. And you'll see that our 120 volt loads are connected to our neutral. So we have these guys connected to our neutral. Well, if we go from line to line where we have 120 plus 120, we have 240 volts available to us across line one to line two. Now, in order to fully understand how this circuit works, we should probably assign some values. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna use a typical voltage of say 120 volts. And down on this one will be 120 volts as well. Now, in order for us to get really deep into this, we should probably provide some ohmic values. So let's say that this is five ohms. This is 10 ohms. Let's say that this 240 volt load is 20 ohms. Let's say that this is 30 ohms and this is 40 ohms. Now we need to figure out the current going through each one of these loads because we're going to need to determine line current as well. I'm just going to change my pen color here. Now we can use Ohm's law and we can take 120 volts divided by 5 ohms and get 24 amps. I can go 120 divided by 10 ohms and I can get 12 amps. I can go 240 divided by 20 ohms and get 12 amps. And then I can go 120 divided by 30 and get 4 amps and 120 divided by 40 to get 3 amps. So now I've determined all of our load currents. Now we can determine our line currents based off of these. Now if I'm looking up here, and by up here I mean up at line 1, you can see that we have this branch where current is coming up across it at 12 amps gets to this node and it picks up another 12 amps so it ends up being 24 amps and kicks it over to this node and picks up an additional 24 amps so in total we can say that this line here has 48 amps down here if we're looking at this way we have a current and at one point it drops off 4 amps then it drops off 3 amps then it drops off 20 sorry 12 amps so we're going to have 12 plus 3 plus 4, and we're going to get 19 amps altogether. So let's write that in there, 19 amps. So now we have a situation where we're unbalanced because our line 1 does not equal our line 2. And that is where the whole idea of the neutral comes in. The neutral carries the unbalanced current. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to take the line 1, 48 amps, we're going to subtract 19 amps from there and we're going to get a line current of sorry not a line current a neutral current of 29 amps so that current is going to be moving across there now if we look at it and we're following it along you can say that okay we have 19 amps coming to this node here and then we have 48 amps up on this side so therefore you don't just suddenly have current appear this 29 amps must have been coming here to add to the 19 amps to get the 48 amps. Now to see how this all plays out, we can look at these other loads as well. And what I would like to do first off before we do anything is I wanna just draw in the nodes. And the node is a junction here. So there's a node right at that point, and there's a node at that point. And so we need to discuss these nodes. So let's look at this. We know that we have 29 amps coming on the neutral. We know we have 48 amps coming on line one, and we know we have 19 amps on line two. Now, if we look at this point here, we've got four amps coming up to this node, and then we have 20 amp, four amps on this point. So you went from four to 24, which means you must have picked up at some point 20 amps, which coincidentally, they've got 29 amps coming to this node as well. So 20 amps is gonna move up across this. Now. Let's just take, uh, where's my pen here? We're just gonna make that say, okay, we've got 20 amps moving up there, which means that we have nine amps left over. Those nine amps are still moving this direction. So it's heading this direction here. 
29 ounce came to the node, 20 went up there, 9 went here. 9 comes to this node, so let's take a look here. We got 3 amps coming to the node, we have 9 amps adding to it, and what do we end up with? 12 amps. So it ends up working out perfectly, everything remains in balance. So it's all about understanding your nodes and the fact that whatever enters a node has to add up to the other side. So again, 4 amps came to this point, became 24, so therefore it picked up 20 amps, which left it with 9 left over from this 29. That traveled along, added to the 3, and then ended up giving us the 12 amps on the top. So it's almost fun to work these things out. And um, yeah, that is how we calculate all the currents on the neutrals in an unbalanced three-wire circuit.